around and tank them up a bit, but it, it did still feel a little bit desperate to lane Gunker into Queen of Pain. I still feel like Razor is... Uh, I guess Razor gets Razor Pain is not ideal. Yeah, that's, that's pretty that's bad. That's but like overall in the, in, in the game plan, you know, moving forward, there is the Ember you mentioned. So our drafts all rounded up. NIP with the Ember AM who comes out on top. A very critical game for both of these teams because the loser does not stand very good chances of making it through to the playoffs. Everything on the line here for both of these stacks. Uh, a lot of Shared Tangos going around, actually, as uh, both Fata and Ace have uh, been given Shared Tangos. Here. This is what I wanted to see. Anti-Mage, Orb of Venom, Stout Shield, two Shared Tangos. You can allow yourself not to go for regions since you have a Baton behind you, and he has two Mangos, a Clarity. will start using uh, that Mist Coil, and it allows you to score kills in the laning stage. Running people down. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a brave strategy. But IP are definitely showing their aggression and that they're not going to be afraid to take the fight to TNT, especially in this laning phase. And if they want this laning phase, well, if they want this game to go well, then they need the laning phase to go pretty well for them. Like, if, if TNC win every lane, there is no chance for NIP this game. They will lose. That's a pretty bold statement. It's <laughs> Dota 2, anything can happen. Anything can happen, yeah. yes. They will most likely lose. Would you agree with that? That the NIP has a better late game? That they'll, no, that if NIP get crushed in the laning phase, then there's very little chance I'm coming back. Uh, I disagree. Like, the, uh, TNC has momentum with their heroes. They can play this uh, really fast. But if Anti-Mage uh, gets a decent timing on Battle Fury, he can start creep skipping. Uh, same goes for Beastmaster and Ember Spirit. And the TNC is pretty pretty limited on cash. You have Sanking, Blink Stun, you have uh, Batrider Lasso. It's enough. But uh, it also, if you go for a kill on a side lane, it delays your push. So they have a really good heroes to cut the creep waves. Okay, alrighty then. Well, Beastmaster hanging out in the bottom lane, sending these boars out. He's uh, actually coming to cut the wave right now with uh, Sanking coming to join him. One in the mid lane. It's Armel versus Fata. So battle it out. Uh, this could be Kuku in a bit of trouble. Has to get the TP out of this one. Cancels the TP and starts running himself away, but I think he's just going to get run down here. This Orb of Venom with the cell. Going to keep him alive a little bit longer, but he's used so much here in the top lane that his first blood going to PPD, and he used a self and a TP and didn't get anything from it. This is the worst thing that can happen to you in the laning stage. Like, you cancel your TP oh or you God. dial Why while you're TPing. Now the Walk of Shame or the Fly of Shame. Yep, that is uh, that is one depressed yeah, this bat rider. Is Brandon Stark, Dota 2 cosmetics right there. Oh, it was Raven. All right, I'm with you. Well, Tim, he's uh, can't really do much about this uh, Beastmaster stealing screws right now, but they can kill a boar. Thirty gold, not bad. But yeah, TNT supports looking a little bit lost down here. <laughs> They're just kind of letting the Beastmaster run past with the creeps. They want to come and interrupt him whilst he tries to farm those under tower. Meanwhile, Batrider returns to the top lane. Meanwhile, on the bottom lane, Beastmaster will go down. One more right click. That's it. I got your back, Scriff. <laughs> Tim's getting the kill on the 233. <laughs> he even gave you a tick of approval. <laughs> what a nice guy. So top lane is not going well. PPD, he got his... Uh, Boots of Speed, level 1, Abaddon. He can play this game for 60 minutes, doesn't oh, need many items. Trouble. It's actually Queen of Pain who's in some trouble. She's getting run down by PPD and Fata here. Another kill for NIP, this time in the middle lane. Bring up to 1 to 2 right now. But a great start to this mid and top lane for NIP right now. Meanwhile, Tim's taking some damage down here, but the Fatal Bond is out onto 33 and Saxa. 33, got to be careful. If uh, Zeus gets caught out, then he might find himself going down. But actually, the Fatal Bond's now ending, so it doesn't matter. Sucks uh, out of mana, but does have himself two juicy mangoes to get through. Ace, meanwhile, blink himself away. He's got these five side charges of sticky napalm on him, and Cuckoo can continue to chase. Where is this Abaddon, though? He's, he's waiting by the creeps. He's got the shield if he wants to use it. No, nah, whatever. He just shows that he's there. I don't okay. want to pop a Fodic shield. I'm just going to Mist Coil instead. Yep. The Cuckoo's in a really bad spot right now because they are tri laning bottom, and he can't contest anti-mage at all in the laning stage. This Orb of Phenom, two points in mana break, is more than enough to just keep the Batrider without the mana, and then the hero 
feels pretty useless. They Saks need to the win bottom, bottom lane. lane so hard. Yeah, well, that's what they're trying to do right now. But Saks are trying to run through the trees. Tim's trying to close in for the burst strike. Will be able to do so on top of the Zeus right now with AU and Gabby and Tim's all smashing into Saks. They are going to find this kill. Down goes the Zeus, and AU will grab himself a ball kill in the meanwhile. But uh, does take a little damn a bit of damage for it. Meanwhile, Cuckoo taking some gentle harass, but I mean. It's just enough to keep him away from the creep waves, which is all you need. Like, Ace doesn't care about kills. He, he just wants to hit creeps. And so far, he is doing that. 17 and 9 on him right now. A great start to this lane for Antimage. And don't forget, they got that kill. That credit did go to PPD, but Ace certainly going to be happy for the AoE gold. One of the most satisfying sounds in Dota 2 is Antimage hitting the either a creep with mana or a hero. Agreed. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a nice chunk. ASMR right there. Cuckoo just trying to farm up this wave, but they're all just getting denied by Ace even. He does manage to grab himself one with a right click, but a very, very sad bat rider. Meanwhile, 33 in the bottom lane, dropping pretty low, but not enough to get the kill. TNC struggling to make things happen in this bottom lane, but they did get a kill onto the Zeus earlier, so Gabby also give him free farm. 33 are really struggling, only 3 CS on him, level 3. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's not ideal. Even with that uh, kill on mid lane, Queen of Pain still ahead of Ember Spirit. He's uh, kind of forced to either go for Shrine or they try to pick up uh, the Bounty Runes. Is there a bottle on him? Yes, there is. Yeah, nobody really contesting the Bounty Runes at top. Oh, never mind, actually. Cuckoo is trying to sell on top of it, but Ace has the quicker fingers. That's going to be three Bounty Runes going the way of NIP. Meanwhile, fight down at bottom. Saks are in some trouble. Tims and AU surround him with the Illusion Rune. They'll get that kill onto the Zeus. It's a dead Thunder God. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, Armel still just farming himself up. Currently 25 and 14 compared to the Embers, 19 and 3. So a fair amount of uh, advantage here for Armel in mid. As he said, despite that kill, doing absolutely dandy. But it. He's now got brown boots and bottle. Should help him lane a little bit versus the Queen of Pain, but not really a favored matchup by any stretch of the imagination. But Fadal not doing terribly. Tries to dodge the dagger. Does succeed in doing so, even though it looked like it massively hit him, but it's fine. It's Dota 2. Queen of Pain has level 6, is saving another point for ulti if needed, but uh, her mana is pretty limited. Also, Queen of Pain is one of the heroes that you want to have TP on, so if they're playing aggressive on the side lanes, you TP and Bat you clean rider. them up. Being chased down in the trees here, Ace and Sax are running him down. Ace will need one more right click and will find it. Sax are with the rotations and another success up here in the top lane. Doing it with less heroes as well. I mean, Sax makes a rotation now, but... MIP doing not so badly in this laning phase. But I think the mid lane is where the biggest difference is. And actually, Tim's coming in. They're trying to go for a kill onto the Ember Spirit. Before. He's got the level 6, but he, and he has a remnant up as well. So really, no chance of a kill here. Dagger will connect, but that's about it. TP back to base, though. Get himself nice and healthy, and then just uh, fly back in with that remnant. They need to rotate Sand King to a top lane. Pressure the Anti-Mage, because it's always so scary just giving Anti-Mage that free farm. He's about to hit level 6. Has Battle Fury queued up uh, enough money to buy Ring of Health unlimited region for him, and even PPD left him alone. Yeah, Ace had such a good start to this game. That was such a heads-up play going for the Stout Shield, Orb of Venom, two Shared Tangos. So it was all he needed. Yeah, but PPD already placed a ward near their top tier two, tier one tower, so they can see the rotation from both Batrider and Sanking. So they do exactly as you say, but maybe a little bit too late here. PPD down in the bottom lane, they're trying to put some pressure onto the, uh, the AM up at top. Meanwhile, there's that Fatal Bonds coming out. Gabby can just cleave through him and... Uh, yeah, really gets to town. He's gonna get the ball. He's not even gonna get the ball. That's a shame. Meanwhile, up at top, Cuckoo coming into contact with Ace Sack. So with the lightning bolt, he's... Sanking's just kind of farming the lane nearby, not really getting involved with this one as uh, Cuckoo defends his creeps and uh, should get most of this CS. AM's coming in for it. Oh, Sax will steal it with the chain lightning. Tim's only just getting involved with this one right now as Ace brings back to the creeps. Once he's under tower, gets the range creep, gets the melee creep. He's going to get them all. He's a good player. Gabby, yeah, the biggest winner of uh, laning stage so far. Eight minutes in, Boots, Hand of Midas, uh, already level seven. We'll just continue to free farm. 33 needs a lot of levels on this bottom lane. Yeah. Because 
They were trying to pull the wave back, uh, didn't succeed to do so, and look at the amount of uh, denies that they have. 19 on on this Sven, a lot of denies actually. Queen of Pain 17, Anti-Mage 25 denies. Sam is just getting, <laughs> he's getting a freebie right now, but as is the Sven, we'll see who turns out better. Uh, Tims, Tims, he's got to come out of the Sandstorm, but there's just an easy blink forward for Ace. Holding onto the Mana Void, why bother? Just do it with your blink. Well, I'm in the mid lane. He's farming up pretty nicely himself, but needs to start getting active at some point. Looks like he's going for this Orchid build with a Mantle of Turgent in the backpack there. Uh, he could just get the uh, power threads with it, and uh, then we're oh, going to yeah. need to see item. He also needs a defensive item. Really depends how active they're going to play with the Batrider and the uh, Sven. Like, Orchid is needed this game against the Anti-Mage because they're they going don't in, have though. God Strength in the bottom lane down. with the stun. They've even got the chains coming out from the Warlock there to try and uh, hold them back. But there's a Sonic Wave coming through, but they, they won't be able to get anything from this. Maybe, oh, yep, jumps in, but no, the deny comes in from BPD and Armel's in some trouble right now. Gabby needs to defend his mid laner, but Fada comes jumping forward. Saxa gets the kill. Armel dies and getting nothing for it. Extremely costly for TNC, but now they're going to the 33 as well. He is in from behind. The Shadow Word comes out. The right clicks from the spend will be enough to bring him down. But Fada just fading up, gets the chains onto two. As Gabby trying to run himself away, but will not be successful with the Lightning Bolt. And now you can, but watch as his teammates fall. Both his core and his mid lane have dropped in this bottom lane. An absolute chaotic series of events. This is for what we TNC. call jubated. This is next level bait right there. PPD managed to deny himself. Queen of Pain was. Yeah, I need to grab that kill. I committed Sonic Wave, Jeez. I need to go in, and uh, now they're gonna lose four bounties. This is not how TNC planned for this game to go so far. But let's see what they can do to turn this one around. Meanwhile, PPD just feels so confident right now. He's like, I can deny anything. I'm the king of the world. King of the world. Level three of Baton, huh? Yeah. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. 33 is going to be hitting some creeps for sucks that sitting in behind him. That is a tasty tome coming out for Mr. Peter Pan Dam. I would not I love Tim's. to be in a Tim's situation. The roar comes out. The damage is coming through. 33 with the right clicks. PPD with the miss coil, and that'll be Tim's dropping. TNC is in a really tough situation right now. Sven has a lot of farm. Queen of Pain's not doing so well, and you're on the clock. This. Anti-Mage is free farming, he's on top of network chart. You always feel the pressure to do something, and when you're playing uh, like that, you, you're you gonna make mistakes. It can't be helped. TNC TPing more heroes down to this bottom lane. It seems like this is where they want to make something happen. Meanwhile, Cuckoo up top here, looking onto Ace. But he's just hiding in the trees versus this Anti-Mage who's doing whatever he likes. This is really not good for Cuckoo. He wants to do something. And there's your Demon Edge. And now Ace has uh, even higher damage coming out from him. Armel Lightning Bolt comes down onto him. Just uh, scares him off with a blink. Does TNC just try and group his five and, and find some kills onto an IP and try and look for some objectives maybe? Vorlock ulti is ready. They should yeah. try to seek a fight. Like, usually you do not want to play aggressive with the Warlock, it's more of a counter-reactive spell to what the enemy is doing, so... But still, you want to smoke and try to make something happen. Oh, this could be such oh, a big kill. Hey, you, he Arcanum. can't really afford to die right now. Where are the TPs? Where is your team, TNC? But they are not looking to save IU right now. Now, nice Boris comes in, but dodges it on Fata. Hey, he's still being chased. He's trying to get to the tower. He could turn around with a golem, but doesn't want to do so. He knows he needs to find a more valuable use fit, and that attacks are going for the TP out, saying, please, please, lasso me. Yeah, just uh, easy put him on, on there. Easy. Uh, he's going to kill him, though. I'm a little bit disappointed by that. Can you not just leave him there? Like, he doesn't have a TP. I mean, you want to kill him. All right. You want to get the gold because your laning stage didn't go so well. Also, they need to address this problem called anti-mage right now. Sonic Wave is ready. They should try to smoke up and uh, grab a kill. Yeah, that pure damage from the Sonic Wave, absolutely key in taking down that anti-mage, ripping through his defensive, and he's not really going to be getting a defensive item anytime soon. He wants to get that. It's still pretty even three. game in terms of net worth. Only 1k gold lead for NIP right now. A lot of that uh, net worth is based on Sven. Yep. And with the inbuilt cleave, doesn't need a Battle Fury but at the same time. Can't help but feel NIP definitely have the upper hand right now. 
and it's on TNT to make something happen. PPD. I mean, Cuckoo can't even can't even bully this five position. He, Abaddon just is so well versus Batrider that from a three versus a five, and Cuckoo just has to walk away from that fight. Never feels good. Ace now in the mid lane, just following Cuckoo around the map as Gabby tries to put pressure on top, but in comes the Searing Chains. Not too sure they're actually going for anything here, just trying to put a bit of pressure onto Gabby, but then uh, keeping that remnant nearby. Now that Saxa shows himself, they will be a little bit cautious. And with a slide of fist, they're actually going to see EU here, so they know that there are more heroes hanging around. I think TNC maybe will have to go right now. But uh, in order to get him to link back to the remnant here, they're going to have to put some pressure on him. He's not going to do that just by himself. He's actually going to TP down bottom. So with that slide of fist, they completely defuse the gank from TNC once again. But TNC should get themselves a tier one tower at the very least for this. Meanwhile, the battle for the rune takes place. But with Saxa coming in, this might turn into even worse than that. As Cuckoo flying himself away, his Firefly is running out, but he's going to be okay. Meanwhile, 33 just uh, slowly dying in the trees. But the game comes in with Aurora AM on top of him as well. Immediately do they have the damage though. The Mana Void comes out and the Lightning Bolt will finish the job. Saxa gets the kill. PPD wrapping in behind the tower. TNC are looking to respond to this one. MIP are gathered. Meanwhile, the Sonic Wave comes out on the back lines. That's 33 taken down. Gabby looking for more. He wants to try and find they PPD. They kills. get the stun coming out, but immediate purge out from PPD. Just winning himself out of this one. They needed to get the Wait, uh, higher value target there. Only managed to bring down this Beastmaster. Meanwhile, Anti-Mage, he finished the Battle Fury 13 minutes in, and now he's just gonna jungle. So does Popping Burrow Time purge Stormhammer? Uh, yes, sir. You can just remove the stuns. Easy peasy. And getting a Zeus kill right there is really oh, valuable it's... like zeus wants to grab those last hits because once he gets that aghanim scepter it's a game changer and also he's saving that thunder god's wrath for the last second yeah to grab a kill and to reveal the spot what the dnc's rotation is gonna be yeah we still didn't see a rock no, no, no golem as of yet. Meanwhile, Ueyu, he's jumped on top of here and IP might be able to get it, but the rock comes down with the Fatal Bond Swell doing a bit of damage, but they need to find the follow-up. This rock is a very valuable resource to drop down. And uh, Fada's just playing around right now. He's got a remnant to jump to if he needs it, so really no threat from him right now. Not the greatest rock we've seen. Sven will continue to push out mid, but they have a really good uh, base defense. Level 4, Slide of Fist, Zeus with the Bolt. Yeah, and TNC, just that lack of tower push really coming into play. They need to keep this catapult alive. They will be able to do so with Armel poking in from the side as well. Derpy, you just throw it at a right click here and there, but the catapult should finish the job. Boom, tower will crumble. At least TNC have now opened up a bit of the map for themselves, though, with that tower kill. Ace blinking in, very nice play on the top lane. There was one creep, one hero, and he blinked in, so the Centaur Conqueror used War Stomp on him. That's 200 IQ play right there. <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't result in anything, but we'll force Cuckoo back to base. Well, God Strength uses Sven. He's going on Saxa here with one, two, three hits, and Saxa is dead. Gabi finds an easy cleanup. Now looks towards 33, who's running his way through the trees in the bottom lane. AU trying to scout him out, throwing down that ward, even seeing which Boris. direction he goes in. He's into the trees. Do they have any kind of stun for it? They certainly don't. Tim's might come in, but it's all too late. Meanwhile, A still just bullying whoever comes to this top lane. Tim's will now be the victim of that, and luckily with the sandstorm, Antimage has no sight. Once they get the Blink Dagger on Sanking, they will try to put pressure on Anti-Mage and on the towers. He just needs another 800 gold, will take the top lane for himself. Sonic Wave will be ready, same goes for Warlock and Altie. They just need that first initiation. Sven, what does he have? He has a Blink Dagger for himself right now. Anti-Mage, this is a good kill if they can grab it. Right on top of him right now, and he's already used the blink as well. Stun comes out, the damage coming through. Can they finish him off in time? Yes, they can. Ace goes down. A really important kill for TNC, putting their mark on the map, and Gabby becoming bigger and bigger. This is the snowballing that TNC were looking for, but can they keep the ball rolling? Great pickup for TNC. Ace a bit out of position there. They had uh, no wards whatsoever in that area, and the rest of this team was playing bottom part of the map. Uh, meanwhile, PPD being bullied a little bit by Cuckoo. It silences you can't use borrowed time out of, isn't it? 
Yeah. All right, Raw comes down on to the Bat Rider here, but that doesn't seem to be much follow With the TPs coming in from TMC, they'll actually be able to defend this one. I feel like NIP have changed up massively here. They're playing a lot more defensively. Thunder God's Wrath even coming in, but Cuckoo's absolutely fine. He's just been bottling himself up this entire time. Saxa hiding in the trees. Will now have to TP himself away, and the TP cancels will not be coming in. They ping out where he was, but unfortunately not where he is any longer. Meanwhile, Gabby up in the top lane. He's uh, starts God's strength going, just farming up, just getting that money coming in. BKB well and truly on the way for him right now. It's Blink, Midas, Echo Saber heading towards BKB town. Yeah, they will need to save Primal Roar for that Sven once he has a BKB. Yeah, otherwise there is absolutely nothing. We're just going to stop him just chasing people down. NIP is in a situation right now where they not want to fight. They will counter react, maybe get a pick off with the uh, Zeus ulti with the Primal Roar and Ember Spirit uh, playing uh, actively. And uh, this is it. Just get a pick off. Try to delay as much as possible because Anti Mage, he had a good start, but he needs a Manta style. He also needs plus one more item to not be blown up by Sven and Queen of Pain. IP just getting the push on down in this bottom lane. They've got the double ball. They've got Fada hanging around as well. Just using a side of fist to check if there's anybody in the trees here. There is not. So they're actually getting some damage on this uh, tier two tower. And look at that curse of the Avernus coming through. Giving them all that attack speed bonus. Oh yeah, silence that tower. Huge. Oh, still use the spit shot though, Shane. This That's a good point. Falling. You should not be able to use split shot if you're silenced. Yeah, yeah. Let, let, let's give a bad and silence on towers something worthwhile. Now it's time for TNC to play aggressive. They could still wait for Sven's BKB. It's going to be there in uh, 800 gold, but uh, Sanking has his blink dagger. He revealed his blink dagger on bottom lane. Like, now they're going to try to play aggressive, get a pick off, turn that into Roche Pit, maybe if God's strength is still running. And look at PPD just charging into the middle lane here. He really isn't afraid of anybody. Armel just continues farming up. But Gabi and AU looking in from behind here. They might be trying to find something. They really are waiting pretty heavily on this uh, BKB before they make any plays happen. The Veil and the Yules on the Queen of Pain. Meanwhile, 33. He's got the Vlads, he's got the Medallion. Now going for the Soul Crest into the Blink Dagger. Might be even going... Uh, yeah, yeah, I think you finish up the Soul Crest here for sure. He's even got the recipe. The betting is still extremely close between these two teams. Meanwhile, up in the top lane, Cuckoo getting burnt down. Farda chasing him, but he's also taking the fires himself. And actually with the lasso Where's coming the out, TP? might be able to bring him down, but no one's coming over because Gabby has actually dealt with Ace. Meanwhile, Fada still on top, and he should get this kill. Cuckoo thought his team would come, but they were dealing with more important things. And look at that style play from Fada as well, just getting back to his own jungle whilst getting that kill. Um, I mean, one of the jungle here, they've actually found themselves 33, so 33 will be dropping for TNC as well. So two kills for that Batrider right now. Almost worth it to keep him distracted up at top. Yeah, that's that pure damage coming in huge onto the anti-mage down here. He was just getting a little bit too carried away with his jungling. Nice pickups there. Now they still have BKB on Sven. No God Strength whatsoever, but uh, they can still pressure the towers. We, s we saw only one rock 22 minutes in. They want to pop yeah. that one. Queen of Pain, I think she misused her TP right there. A little bit of uh, legacy key issues. Oh, yeah. It looks like TNC will not be putting too much pressure on this middle tower, but in fact, moving up to top for the time being. I want to get all these lanes pushed in. Again, Roshan just not really very likely for TNC to be able to take until they get like a full five-man wipe or like three or four heroes dead on the side of TN on the side of NIP. Pretty even game so far. Like we didn't yeah. see more than 2k network advantage. Uh, both teams feel comfortable because um, TNC still need like another item on Sven. He can sell Midas, get one more, but uh, then he's gonna reach the critical mass. I think, weirdly, even though... Do, do, do you actually want to sell this Midas, though, for the for the AC? Do you think their timing is that important? They just I, need to start He's gonna sell Quelling Blade, in my opinion. That, that would make him a lot more sense <laughs> to me. <laughs> Bottom to 
of the high ground, but 33 comes in with the roll. The hero's gathering around. They're even going to throw the rock to try and keep Tims alive in this situation, but it's not going to be enough. Tims will fall. Now they're jumping in. Nice the double stand by Sven. That's a stun with the BKB with the Sonic Wave ripping through as well, but Ember still on the run. The Yules comes out, though. Can they get the damage off in time? They cannot. Yes, they can. The Slide of Fist ends, and Arfada is dead. PPD just trying to fight it up with a golem. Meanwhile, looking up towards AU here, but with TNC coming in from behind, they do not want to let AU die in this situation, and they will certainly succeed in keeping him alive. TNC are finding three critical kills in this middle lane. What can this lead to to them? The pings come out on the middle lane tower. NIP is still not ready to fight. If you compare Anti-Mage to Sven right now, he has 3,000 more net worth and he just can't man fight him. He needs two more items. Oh, they're gonna find 33 on top lane. Yeah, stun coming out as Gabby arrives and with that Echo Saber will clean up 33 quite easily. And this tower looking pretty tasty. NIP should just try to get a pick off and not fully commit to a team fight because uh, they are way weaker right now. It's going to be a long game if NIP wants to come back into this one. But at the same time, you know, the lack of push is really starting to TN hurt TNC right now. Yeah, uh, when that's when God's strength is down, they can't commit for objectives. Uh, they didn't even kill tier two tower after that uh, four man wipe. Didn't even turn it in Roche. No, they got nothing. But they're going to go and smoke and just keep on trying to put on this pressure right now. They know exactly what they need to do. TNZ are a good enough team to try and do it. PPD going for some D wards up here. They know that this Abaddon is going to be on this top of this cliff right now. So that's not a hero they want to actually get their smoke popped by. They want to get something much, much tastier. Fader in the mid lane could be a good target. But the oh, nice reactions from Fader getting himself back up onto the high ground inside the slide of Fist. That was tasty. Meanwhile, they're coming in. Oh, PPD, though, just gets absolutely annihilated. Gates through the uh, borrowed time damage. It, it, it was enough. Going over the threshold, meanwhile. Uh, Queen of Pain. Queen of Pain. Yours comes out. Tim's comes in with a barrel strike. Now going in with the epicenter as well. Armel blinking himself away. Just about survived oh, with one with the epicenter. Breaking through. Sax is going to die. Armel as well does go down. As Sparta recommits to this fight. 33, though. He's just getting smacked in the back. Trying to walk up these steps. The barrel strike comes through. Gabby finds a triple kill. Cuckoo on the back lines. Looking towards Fada, but Fada is out of there. Did manage to find the sneaky kill onto the Queen of Pain. But my goodness, NIP cannot fight. Meanwhile, Ace, he's just trying to get himself this Battle Fury, get himself the Manta, and now into the Butterfly next. But Cuckoo, he just wants to ruffle his truffles a little bit, send him back. They really can't take a fight right now. Even if they lose a hero or two, like Zeus, Abaddon, and they commit resources, Sven Alti, which means they can't go for Roche if they commit Rock. Uh, it's still a small win for NIP because Anti-Mage is farming. He's not dying at the moment. Yeah. It's... But it's going to be a huge problem if they continue to feed away like three kills and uh, this Sven right now, he has full assault, level 22. He is girthy. BKB, Blink, AC, like he's, he's, he's getting towards ridiculous stages. Still no crits, which he has queued up next. Good, that's the item we want to see, just to blow up the anti-mage before he can get those stuns purged off or before he can blink away. Just the instant killing. That's what I want to see coming out from Gabby. The top lane will finally be looked at here. TNC feel they are ahead enough to go for this. Still only a 1k gold advantage, as you say, really kind of minimal changes between the two teams, but... With this Sven being as big as he is, they do just need to shove him on the front lines, try and take some objectives and try and force NIP to stop farming and come and fight them. PPD could be... Oh, okay, all right. Not going to try and rip through that uh, borrowed time again. It was pretty tasty the last time they did it, but... Uh, we'll be doing it this time. I mean, committing a Sonic Wave to a kill onto PPD is, is not in TNC's game plan. Anti-Mage, fully committed. To a BKB, he's level 20. That extra 2.5 seconds blink cooldown allows him to chase, even farm faster. This bottom lane for Radiant is always a problem. It's always pushed out. Yeah. The yeah, anti mage effect. What do you think this uh, BKB pick up on the end? Oh, my, my One, God! Two. <laughs> Saxa! <laughs> he just gets his cranberries crushed. There's nothing left. The BKB yeah, pickup yes. screams, uh, we need to take a fight. Yeah. Like, if they go for high ground, I want to have an item to fight with. He just needs to dodge Sven. 
Easier said than done. Roll. Control Sven. Once he blinks in, just roar him. And try to kite. But they don't have too many kiting items. There's no four staffs. Uh, Beastmaster is tanky enough with uh, that solar something. crest. Without the Zeus, they're going to try and commit with this double damage anti-mage. Tim's though sitting on the high ground, just going to pop the whole damn smoke. Tim sees them right now. TNC might well take this opportunity. The Hawk comes through. NIP, they're into Roshan, but Tim's, he's immediately in. Burrow Strike onto two, getting himself away, but nice he comes rock. and going on. Look at the damage coming through. The Sonic Wave as well. Ripping through NIP. There's nothing they can do about this. Trying to get up onto the high ground. Kuku is chasing. PPD gets left behind. Fada is on the run right now. And with these remnants, he should just about be able to make it out of this, but a TP's coming in. Tim's, where is he? He gets it. The Yules is out as well. They actually find him. Fata, it doesn't matter how far you run. TNC will find you and TNC will kill you. They take down everybody except for the Zeus who was just coming out of the fountain when the fight started. A desperate move from NIP to try and take that Roshan and a fantastic jump in from the uh, Sand King as well. But what, what was that move from NIP Lacoste? Yeah, the <laughs> I'm wondering the same. Like there's no need for you to risk because uh, you could see that TNC couldn't take the Roche for themselves. Every single time they took a fight, they tried to go for towers instead. And now with that Crystallis AC, Queen of Pain can tank it up. Uh, they have more than enough to bring him down. It's a uh, really high risk and uh, not that high reward play right there from NIP. It was certainly not. And now TNC, they are in the pit. They're taking down Roshan. They're going to get the Aegis. Everything that NIP hoped to gain from this move is now in the enemy's hands. This game just took, you know, it was slowly going downhill for NIP and it just dropped off the cliff. 8k gold advantage, Aegis in the hands of the Sven. They're going to need to pull out a lot more than what they've been given so far to this game. Yeah, usually you do not want to give Aegis the transformation heroes like uh, Dragon Knight, Sven, yeah, who's kind of like semi-transformation with God strength. But uh, uh, right now I think uh, this is fine because he has uh, a lot of... Uh, gold if they kill him and still deals a lot of damage. Also, Queen of Pain has two defensive items, Lincoln Sphere and the Old Scepter, and it's not looking like she's gonna die. Even if they turn this Aegis, uh, even if he dies and then respawns, like AC, Echo Saber, and almost full Daedalus, they can clear the set of Raxes easily. Yeah, my, I think he got his, his BKB off in that fight I saw, but um, didn't really help him against that pure damage of the Queen of Pain, the Golem Stomp coming through as well. It does feel like not a very valuable purchase this game, but at the same time I do agree with it just in order to give them a way to run at TNC when they when they try and take these fights, but in that situation it, it did not do anything. He also bought the Tome for himself, I'm, I'm not sure if... Uh... If it's actually worth it at this point, but if they want to close the game, like get him to level 25, have that Daedalus ready. God strength views, he's on the high ground right now. Look at this tower, chunk, chunk, chunk. Gabby is going to town, NIP, they're going to have to do something about this. Their, their tower is gone, their racks are being taken. Gabby dropping kind of low, just the harass damage, the magical harass coming out is uh, enough to kind of start ticking him away, and the Shadow Word is out as well. PPD just throwing in the miss course, sitting on the front lines right now. He doesn't care if you go on him. Oh, he might! He might! He's <laughs> just gone! No borrowed time for you, and now the Sonic Wave with the Golem coming in once again. 33 is ripped apart, but Ace, he's going for the big kills on the back lines, looking for AU. Meanwhile, they're in deep on the side of TNC, but not too deep. Keeping it gentle. Never mind, Saxer is dead. Queen of Pain just goes in for a, for a huge jump in. Burrow's back to follow up as well. Tim's just keeping him busy, but might pay with his life here. Armel coming in with the AoE strike and down goes Tim's with PPD dead for a second time. 33 not looking particularly healthy as Sven gets his Aegis pop, but in comes the lasso, dragging him back into the respawning Sven. Oh my god, TNC are killing everybody. The buyback's coming in from NIP. There's no shenanigans going on, no split push going on. It's just a straight up base defense from NIP. Looks like they will be able to chase him out. Ace is using that BKB to look forwards for Cuckoo here, but Cuckoo's got the Glimmer Cape. Ace trying to find anybody. TNC, are they really going to make a full escape from this one? All right, AU, 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 AU. Okay, he's, he's dragging them away, taking the attention of the rest of his team. The Mana Void will come out onto that Warlock, giving NIP something. I mean, a Sand King kill, a Warlock kill, the Sven is his Aegis, but so much more. Four, th four buybacks used on the side of NIP. Minus 2,400 gold for them. Minus a set of barracks. It's, it's looking rough. Four buybacks for what? They still lost the barracks and the only kill they got was Sanking and uh, Vorlock. Uh, TNC can't afford that. 16,000 network lead right now. They can easily kill the Shrines. 
Sven pretty jacked. Uh, he can sell Hand of Midas and uh, buy double Hyperstone for himself. Moonshard, pop it. Okay, he's going for Butterfly, actually. Huh. We, we saw Butterfly being built on Sven yesterday. Yeah, I mean, I guess it gives you evasion, gives you attack speed, which you're going to lose with the Echo Saber. Well, I'm picking up what he's putting down. Easy shrines, easy life. He's still just trying to get that money rolling in. I mean, he's done a good job-ish, keeping himself high up in the net worth charts. With his team falling so badly. Is there any, anyone from NIP you've expected more from this game, Lacoste? Considering how much of a free farm and good lane that Ace had, he did not deliver. I mean, he's playing into anti-mage, which is always scary. You blink in, uh, he has Echo Saber. If he gets a crit on one of those, oh, you just die. Yeah. Like if he did, easy dispel, but now the lasso comes out, they should get themselves the kill here. Bow strike even being used here just to make sure PPD goes down as easily as possible. No suicide shenanigans, far too much damage coming out these days for that anyway as they go for the second shrine here. And both cores on TNC are level 25. Scream of Pain, one and a half second fear, and this one with that extra 40 god strength. This is looking rough for NIP right now. And I'd be in a tricky, sticky, no bueno situation right now. Gabby taken to the high ground. It's, it's gonna need a lot. It's gonna need a huge mana void. It's gonna need Fada just bouncing around the fight, doing whatever he wants, taking down the supports, making sure the Warlock can't drop this golem, making sure the Lasso can't come out onto the right heroes. Even controlling up the Queen of Pain is probably pretty important in this stage. And they do none of that. They, they don't do anything. They say Megas or nothing. Megas, if they're going for Megas, we'll fight them. If they're not going for Megas, they can do what they want. Critical exceptions being made from NIP as uh, Ace and Tim's. Not doing much between each other. Like, do, do, do you maybe just swap out the stick for, for for some dust here? I feel like at least you know you kill Tim's in that situation, which maybe which which sounds. Yeah, I don't cool, think you kill Tim's. You with the borrow strike, with that pipe, he's tanky enough. A casual bracer. <laughs> oh, that sorry, that that'll do. I didn't spot the bracer. Yeah, no, he's immortal. Cuckoo. Poking up on the high ground here. Does have to be careful as there's a lot of heroes which could quite happily see this Batrider dead. Hawk giving them a decent amount of vision as well, actually. Hey, you. Ward here. Don't do it. He's swapping in the observers. Don't, don't, don't do it, are you? Right. It's all good. Hawk's actually taking damage. I don't know what from. Well, I see, he sees a haste rune here. I'm glad they didn't give it to Anti Mage because he runs so stupidly with that haste rune. <laughs> it's like full on weeb. His HP is so low. Still sitting at the 1600. How many hits do you think it's going to take Sven to get through him with that, uh, that 29 armor? If my math is correct, four. If one of those is crit on top of on top of Sonic Wave. Yeah, B. Going to pop the smokes right now. And I'd be refusing to go in. They don't want to try and bring down the Sven. They just want to try and keep him controlled as best as possible in this fight. So it's really their only option, honestly. Or, I mean, even if you don't control him, just hope, hope that he takes long enough to kill a Baden and Zeus that the cause can actually get something done. One of the problems for Antimage in this game is he does not have a good mana void target because uh, Queen of Pain, she has a lot of mana region, 2,000 mana pool, but she also has a Lincoln Sphere. They, yeah. they don't have too many spells to pop it with, like Zeus can, a Baden can, but he will usually save it to, to use it on his own teammates instead. Like, even if you go on Queen of Pain, she can just blink away because uh, you have uh, no basher yet, no way to control her. NIP, it looks like they're going for the smoke play now. Up onto the high ground. NIP leading the charge. PPD looking at the pit. I mean, it's just coming down to minimum respawn right now. So, uh, yeah, 26 seconds. It's going to be pretty soon. The winner from the next fight might well be taking it. Cuckoo would be a great target for them. They're jumping on top of him now. Thunder God's Wrath even being used. They're trying to run him down, but he's away. He's just blown off the map. Amal jumping into everybody now. That's a Lincoln's pot. Meanwhile, in comes Gabby. Gabby's found the Beastmaster. 33. The crit comes through. 1,700 damage. Even a Beastmaster can't handle that much. But Ayo is dead. But PPD falls just so quickly to the sword of Gabby. 
TNC dominating right now. Another bow strike onto the Zeus should spell an extra kill for them as they get on top of them once again. The three heroes dead without buyback from NIP. This might have been the final hurrah from them. Does not end the game with much. Ace still alive. Uh, he used the BKB. But it's 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 just going to be Mega Creeps here, surely. Ace and Fada did a good job killing uh, Vorlock in the back lines, forcing yeah. the rock, but uh, they have no saving items. So if they decide to go on Zeus, Beastmaster, they just die. Like they have the saving capability in a Fodic shield, but that's pretty much it. Now they're trying to cut the creep waves as much as they can, delay this last set of racks is being killed. Can they go through here though? Wait, they've got... Oh, they got a bottom lane that's pushed in enough. Fada's trying his best, but Fada is too late, and that means I'm sure the barracks will be going down here, right? PPD throws them a balloon, <laughs> tries to distract them, and now he gets Stasis trapped. Oh, look at that flag. <laughs> that, oh, is that, that is, a metal finger? Yes, that it is. That is art. That is absolute <laughs> art from TNC. <laughs> Oh dear. Well, that's now Mega Creeps. Needs the pajamas. The announcer says if you come back from this, you will be legends. But something tells me that's not likely to happen. 3% for Yoda. Oh, monkey? Yoda what? plus Yoda being generous. Oh, okay. Yeah, Yoda plus believes more than I do. And NIP, they're now going for it, but the last one comes out with the BKB onto the anti straight away, but it does run off as they jump back in onto this one, turn away as Ace comes forward, looking for Ayo, that's apparently a bad one, but Ace, he's taking some hits here, needs to keep away from Gabby, will be able to do so successfully, Raw that's comes out onto the Sven, they're actually trying to go the kill here, Gabby, he's dropping low, could they actually finish this guy off though, Ace comes in with the mana void and they get the kill onto Gabby, Gabby goes down, a thousand gold, the bucket of fatter, but more importantly, the Sven is dead, and now look to Armel as well, Armel has to jump to the high ground right now, but the epicenter, that's doing a lot of Sonic Wave as well, it's hitting hard, but NIP, do they have the damage to actually finish off as Cuckoo's trying to just fly over them with the fire? Ace, he's dropping so low here. The constant shield's coming out, but the bonus strike, it just blows up too. PPD, Zaxa, they're gone. And Ace, surely going to follow the Yule Scepter comes out. Ace trying to blink away up onto the high ground, keeping himself alive for a little bit longer. The counter spells everything he's got. He might actually make it out of this situation, getting past his own Ancient and will make it back to the fountain. NIP... They're holding on. Sven dead. I mean, he didn't have buyback there, so if the fight did go badly, then NIP could have taken something. But they just used their spells beautifully. Yeah, the he epicenter, committed the Sonic fully wave. in that fight. They need to take care of Sven with Lotus Orb against that Beastmaster Roar. It was nicely done by NIP. Primal Roar and uh, just by having Boris on Sven so he can't move that fast in a team fight actually yeah. did a lot. Yeah, keeping him inside that Nimbus as well. So good. Well... 41 minutes in, TNC are going to go for what might be the slowest Roshan attempt I've seen in a while. Do now decide to give up. Hawks being thrown in, 33s decides they don't want to give this one up for free. And Ace is actually into the pit. 20 seconds till the Sven comes out. It's the first strike on the back lines here as Ace jumps in on this one, but in come the Golems? They come into Golems? For this? I'm very surprised. The roar comes out. Cuckoo looking forward. 33 though. He's dropping low. He's dropping lower. And he might well hit the grave right now. Up onto the high ground he goes. But PPD with the save. Showing in the field. Throwing in. Oh, uh, yeah. Blick themselves away. NIP. All of them keeping their distance right now. Cuckoo just going for the D ward. This means Roche will be open for Sven. It was a noble attempt from NIP. Just kind of teasing it out. Gently skirting around the edge of Roche. Seeing if there's anything they can do to try and take it. But unfortunately for them, that will not be the case. And uh, well, it's an Aegis on Armel. Cheese and Sven's backpack. Uh, and an Octarine Core, finish off with the Queen of Pain as well. That's a full Octarine on Queen of Pain to lower the cooldown on Blink and uh, most importantly, Scream of Pain, because she's level 25, that uh, fear can easily win you a team fight. Now, Ace, still saving a buyback, but um, might be needed to force that uh, all in build on him. Yeah, there it is. It's uh, yep. do or die. AC finished off. Taken in on this one. Clock is ticking for NIP. Can they hold back the hands of time? It's TNC star fashion just at the shrine, just at the uh, little monument building. And then they go with the last over, but immediately purged off by PPD. That's not an ideal usage from Cuckoo there. 
Darmel just hitting the tier fours. Gabby with the god strength. Now they're causing the issue. Now they're saying you've got to come and stop us doing this, because otherwise we're just going to hit your buildings. Darmel jumping forwards, using that fear to keep them away. The uh, Nimbus going to do a little bit of work here just to keep them back. TNC, they do lose a lot of health on Gabby there. It's surprising how much damage they can do to this Sven just with a magical prodding. Now you can see TNC respecting NIP, even though they have uh, mega creeps. They just need lanes to be pushed in, and then they're going to go. Choke them out. Okay, so we'll just clean on these creeps and TNC with the full back, actually. And uh, NIP, they are looking to punish this one. Thunder Gods comes out, they see all these heroes. Counter spell popped by AC, runs himself forward, but the Barrow Strike comes out on him, interrupting the mana void. They come into the back lines here, TNC. They're looking for the big kills. In goes Pana, trying to hold them still. 33 still alive for the time being. They get the last two, trying to drag back and finally kill Saxa. They have to focus on this Nimbus, but Gabby's himself is actually dropping pretty low here. Lotusov comes out, cheese is eaten. Now turning it around, Anti Mage needs to get himself out of this situation with the epicenter ripping through. The blink from Tim still following on this. Meanwhile, the fear onto the 33 on the back lines will finally secure that death from him. No buyback on the side of 33. Meanwhile, Ace has to come back in and defend the base. Now blinking backwards, just trying to keep himself far, far away as Saxa will be falling for a second time. That's a dieback from him. The Ancient is exposed. This might be the end. Three heroes is not enough to defend against TNC with, but they're certainly going to try. Ace getting stunned up. The Choice Lights game spam. TNC, they know this is in the bank. PPD going to get hit by a golem as well. Everything just being thrown in right now. AU, he's in the fountain. Why bloody not? The Ancient is going to fall and TNC take a victory. 44 minutes in, but they just keep